in a red hatch with a car phone. Oh, I hate that. Comes right up behind me and steals my space. Men with car phones. I turn to give him a mouthful, my foot slips off the clutch and I accidentally run right up the side of someone's blue milk. Did you leave a note? Are you kidding? Lena. Their insurance will pay. I'm 38 years old, divorced. I've got a 14-year-old daughter who hates me. And yes, I'm lonely. Bed's a lonely place without company. I seem to manage. Yeah, well, you can be lonely all your life waiting for Mr. Wright. Well, I don't think it's too much for a woman to ask that a man be free before she lets him into her bed, let alone her heart. Free? Jesus, Caddy, at our age, nothing's free. They're either gay, married or wounded. I've had my fair share of damaged goods and I'm too fond of sexual intercourse to spend the rest of my life with someone gay. In Piccolo Mondo, Peter Tapano's witty and down-to-earth performance nicely balances drunken spite with emotional fragility. Hello? I'm afraid women are not allowed in here. No? Some of the older men don't like it. I see, they think a woman brings bad luck, huh? Sei la sorella di Paolo. Gina Agostini. <laughs> Do I look like I bring anybody bad luck? No. No, 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 no. Your English is very good. Where did you run away to America? Napoli. English is the language of the black market, no? So you work in the black market. How else do you make a living in Italy during the war? You are always so honest with people you just meet. No. You are different. How do you know? I just know. Peter DePunner now blossoms in her best TV role to date as Gina in Fields of Fire 3. Why don't you come up to the house for dinner? Tomorrow night. What about your husband? All right. In town. You say eight o'clock then? All right. By the way, Enright's not my husband. You could at least say thank you. Thank you. A man who could easily be in handcuffs, you're not overly gracious. I'm sorry, but gentlemanly manners weren't taught at my school. Man. In that case, you may prefer to take your chances elsewhere on the train. This is a private carriage. Your hat, Mr. Swanson. Prisoner. All right, Julie. You're upset. We'll talk. We'll put the gun down. I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Seven years without a man teaches you something about tension. Come on. What's on your mind? I want you out. Tomorrow. I'll give you some money. Pay for a hotel room. Why should I interpret that? You bitch. Peter Tapano is the best in a very classy group of performers. Respectability is all very well, darling, as long as it makes money. Ooh, my father's daughter. My wife, Tony, in many ways, takes after her father. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Dalton. I'm not in the habit of breaking kneecaps. How reassuring. Well, sack him, for God's sake. You do it all the time. Can't. It would ruin the paper. But papers are ruining you. Oh, bullshit. It's been an outstanding success. Everything I wanted out of it. Now, the bloody problem is if I let him publish, the government will fall and I'll be accused of stabbing Webb in the back. Excuse me, Philip. If anyone's accused of bringing down the government, it'll be Mr. Henning, not you. She soaks up the screen. Peter is a film animal. You just can't take your eyes off her. What's going to 
happened to the children now? What's the hell on you? And my old man's father was Irish. I mean, mother's Italian. So we're all bloody migrants, aren't we? What are you going on about? I'm just proud of him, that's all. I want him to be all right. Come home safe. And you better do the right thing by him, mate. Are you sorry you're marrying me now? Charlie, don't be a twig. Soprano in the leading role of Fontaine gave a great performance. Peter Dupano is in turn gentle, hysterical, conniving, brutal, and vicious. In Love and Magic in Mama's Kitchen, she gives a bravura performance. It remains a vivid memory. On opening night, the critics were knocked out by Peter Tapano's performance in Danny and the Deep Blue Sea. Winner of Polar Woman's Day 1987, Most Beautiful Face in Australia. Peter Tapano has built a central character in Leonardo, which rates with some of the most intelligent and memorable performances of recent Australian stage. had to be played by a strong actress. I couldn't see anyone else playing the role. 